I'm Troy Kirby with Linwood Today with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Finance Committee heard several tax bills, including House Bill 1299, which would provide business and occupation tax relief to the hospitality industry. Uh, you know, COVID has been with us for a year now, and uh, not only the the natural uh, reduction in business, but the governor's mandates that have folks, of course, forced these folks to close their shop at times uh, have really put a strain on not only their finances, but their ability to proceed. Um, taxes are a big part of their business and, and their expenses. And as we just heard, and as we know, the B&O tax is paid whether or not your business makes a profit. We're still in the middle of a pandemic and many of the businesses are continuing to struggle um, from the severe economic losses due to business closures and the limited capacity environment to provide a safe um, environment for um, their patrons. The hospitality sector, including restaurants, uh, accommodations, and bowling entertainment has been especially hard hit. We know that it's going to take years for the industry to recover and overcome a massive amount of debt accumulation as the pandemic continues. The hospitality sector will need robust assistance to overcome the enormous losses they've amassed. And this bill is one way to assist this industry that is comprised overwhelmingly of small local businesses. The hospitality industry has been the hardest hit industry by the pandemic. It has brought thousands of small businesses to their knees and many operators are hanging on by a thread. With the end of the month quickly approaching, we're entering the second year of the pandemic. And in order to make, uh, to make it work, hospitality operators have depleted reserves, taken out loans, made deferred payment arrangements, or taken on significant debt. As we defeat the virus, it will take years for our industry to recover. And one tool to assist local operators is to provide a temporary reduction in their business and occupation tax rate. 11 months ago today, um, our bowling center closed due to the pandemic, and at that time we had to furlough all of our employees, which at this point we still haven't hired anybody back. Um, during these 11 months, uh, bowling centers, mine, has been closed for eight months. Um, we've lost 82% of our same time revenue or roughly $500,000 due to the pandemic. Uh, this time last year, we had nearly 300 employees uh, within our portfolio. Currently, we are roughly at 125. So those are our friends and family that are no longer employed uh, with our company. Um, we are active in six cities throughout the state where each of our hotels are very active in their communities. Uh, serving on boards, providing sponsorships, donating goods and services, and of course, providing jobs to families. Like restaurants, movie theaters uh, have been severely impacted. They were initially closed, briefly reopened, closed again, and now are starting to reopen. In fact, uh, movie theaters in Washington state saw their revenue decline by 82% in 2020. That is second only to California in the decline in overall state revenue. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by Linwood Today, covering the 2021 legislative session.